All right, guys. We're coming up on where we left off. And Nina feels like she needs to stop and check out every noise that she hears. And uh, we're coming up on where we left off the last time. So Nina's definitely going to let me know if something's near me. That's a good thing. Now, if you remember last time, remember them flowers that was blooming on that tree? And we went that way to go to the water. Nina, come on. We're going to go this way this time. So, it's a little swampy up here, I believe, but I believe we can get through it with no problem. Uh, look at this. Ain't this some shit? Wires, glass. That looks like about half inch thick glass. Electronics. I don't remember this being here last time I was here, which has been about a year and a half since I've been back here. That's, it's ridiculous how people do that. So, anyway, I'm going to try to keep you guys to where you're looking forward instead of looking down at the ground. So, I got it tilted. So you guys can see what's going on in front of us instead of on the ground. And a lot of a lot of green mossy stuff in here. You know, this place doesn't feel healthy. It hasn't felt healthy since I've been here. Um, it just it stays damp around here all the time. People are too trashy between the dampness and the trash and the, I guarantee you it ain't healthy. <laughs> uh, we're coming up on some kind of a platform here. I don't know what that would have been used for, but it's got a pipe in, in it. Two pipes with a chain. And a little bit nasty stuff down in there. Looked like a good rain come, it would turn into a little pond. And that, that's a pretty long platform. It goes from right there all the way up to over here. And believe it or not, there's a fire hydrant right there. Green and yellow. I seen another one about uh, right there after we make that turn right over there somewhere. Now you got the mountain runoff right there that's going down to the creek. I mean this would be a really good place especially up here where where we're going it would be a great place to hunt. Now look here we got deer tracks not very old either last night sometimes but I would definitely love to own I'd love to own this place back here there's a pavilion right there uh, this was probably a thriving place at one time I mean, it, it's got signs of where it might have been thriving at one time and healthy. And when you start leaving stuff alone, 
not go around it stay away from it it tends to um, change to the worse all right we got more steel right here and a bunch of piled up concrete slabs a whole bunch of steel here uh, all of it's bent looks like uh, fencing like a handrail or something like that it's all bent up ain't none of it in there worth a dag going you know if they'd let me come in here and clean this up I'd come in here and get this steel and take it to scrap Nana, don't get too far. Somebody's making a regular path through here. The tracks. Looks like a big truck. Something about like, I don't know, it might be a, like a gator. Then this opens up up here, and uh, it used. To, there's a trailer up here that I believe used to be a scale house. I hope you ain't thinking about coming down here and taking my Nina clean. <laughs> That'd be the fastest way for him to get shot. Ticket office. Exit. Pretty flowers. And then you have a scale. Well, I hear uh, four wheelers. I don't know if I need to be going that way or not. Of course, they're probably trespassing. Just like I am. The difference is I'm not up here terrorizing the property. And it sounds like that's exactly what they're doing, is terrorizing the property with their four-wheelers. I didn't come up here to meet up with anybody because I sure as hell don't want no confrontations. See, now they're coming down that way. And they are frickin' moving. Yep. But they're having fun. And then you got a water, water thing, tower. But where do you see what's up here? It would be the perfect place to hunt it. And I'd love to hunt it. And uh, just because I got my gun with me today don't mean I'm hunting. 
It just means I'm smart enough to bring protection in case I come up with something that don't like me worse than I don't like it. Uh, come on. But you look. It's beautiful country. Yeah, they're coming back. But that right over there, remember where we was looking down on the water? where we went to the water the last time well that is right there just on the other side of that green down there is where the water is I hope I don't meet up with this guy and he's not a problem for me but this goes up the hill we're not gonna go up there today we're just gonna go back in here I wanted to show you guys some other stuff back here. Hell, I'd love to have a, I'd love to have a house right here somewhere. Yeah, it'd be beautiful to have a house up here somewhere. And it ain't like you ain't got plenty of frickin' foundation material when you see. You'll see what I mean. Come on, Nina. Nina. I hope you don't come flying through here and run us over. Come on, Nina. Nina. Come. She must have found where somebody pissed. She's got a market. Come on, Nina. Yeah, she don't listen for shit, man. I can't stand a dog that won't listen to me. You know, she needs to know that I'm in control, not her. But there's a lot of big rocks right here. Huge rocks. Look at all these big old rocks. Look at all them big rocks. How you can build how you can build a house out of rocks. <laughs> There's more big rocks. In perfect den places. I cannot believe. I will not believe that there's not dens in these rocks. I'll guarantee you right there looks like a really good place for a bobcat to a den. Right there. And there's a lot of those in here. I mean a crap load of them. You know, look at all this. I mean this place is just freaking unbelievable. See, there's another opening in them rocks right there that looks like a good place for a den. You know, I guarantee the animals are, are loving this. These rocks piled up like this. Yeah, I guarantee you got mice, rats, snakes. Cats. And I guarantee you there's some coyotes or foxes or anything like that. I mean, right there. Right there's proof. Right there's coyote scat. You know, 
There is definitely coyote activity here. We hear them all the time. I mean, look at all these den areas. You know, and, and I'm really shocked. I, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that all right, this is my second, no, third time up here. And I have yet to see any coyotes, cats, anything like that. And you would think that by looking at this, that there would definitely be, you'd see something. So, of course they're not going to show themselves because I'm talking. But, you know, you'd think you'd scare something away. Or scare something to where you see see it move in any, anyway. So, you know, look at all this. Plenty of concrete foundations right there. Of course, you'd have to have a tractor to move it, but... But I, I just think this is amazing of all the stuff that you see around us. And they just let it grow up. I mean, look at that. That's a big rock wall right there. It goes from there all the way around. And you'll see that here in just a minute. And I guarantee you there's hawk's nests and, and other kind of creatures living in those rock ledges like that. You know, I don't want to see an animal that I would have a hard time dealing with. But I'd like to at least see something. You know, every once in a while you get a just a hint of a deer. But by the time you realize it's there, you really only get to hear it and maybe a flash of a tail but I think that rock ledge up there is pretty amazing too pretty crazy up here shit I'd love to own this property I'd be in freaking heaven if I owned this up here and I don't want to walk up on a den of pups or anything like that so you, know, you gotta walk cautious around here but I think that's amazing, that rock ledge like that. It's chill, I guess. Come on, Nina. Nina. Come on. Listen to me. For your own safety. If you just follow my order. Now, the next time we come down here, or up here, or whatever, we're going to be on top of that ridge right there, looking down on where we're at right now. Uh, but that's the next time. And we're going to go ahead and start making our way back out. And we're going to come over here and go out this way. It's a little more tricky going out this way, if memory serves me correct. I'd definitely like to see something. Coyote, deer. Probably won't see the deer till we come up the next time. Uh, because a little more woody up there where where we're going to be going the next time we come here it's definitely a paradise for animals 
bet you any amount of money they love it here. And look at all these big old con concrete culverts. So we want to make it over there because that's where we came in. So we got to get across these rocks. So let's see if Nina will follow me. Come on, Nina. Let's get in through here. Let me go through here. Up over here. And hope Nina, come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, jump. Come on. Oh, really? Come on. Come on. You can get over there. My couch is no taller than that. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I got faith in you. Come on. Come on. Come on, jump, jump, come on, come on, come on, I'm leaving, come on, come on, are you kidding me, you can't get across that, come on, I'm going to have to help my dog crawl, ain't that some shit, a dog that can jump up on a bed, but can't jump over this, Set you guys down here. Set my gun down. Help my dog. Come on. Really? I can't believe I had to help my dog. Ain't that some shit? So there you have our little walkabout today. Uh, we're going to try to do this every Sunday. And, uh, of course, today's not Sunday. Today's Saturday. The day before I'm supposed to be doing this. So don't tell nobody I'm doing this on Saturday. So, that'll end this part. And, uh, you guys have a good one. Oh, we're supposed to be getting snow, too. I ain't looking forward to that. Y'all have a good one. Later.